Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ingrown toenail removal. When I first saw this game, I thought it was a like a well, I thought it was like a dead toenail. Because <laughs> me and my friends have a joke. We're like people who have like fungus toes. <laughs> We're like, damn, your toes are so yellow. They're like the magic school bus. <laughs> so we call them school buses. We like to call the toes school buses in general. Or if you have fungus toes, well, then there you go. So either way, with if whether 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 or not you got an ingrown toenail or some school buses, you're gonna get it removed like this. Or you're gonna have some stuff put on it. Whatever. But it says before you scrub in, this surgery may contain graphic procedures inappropriate for children and squeamish adults. Or for squeamish adults. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Surgery squad. Hello, and welcome Hello. to Surgery Squad's virtual ingrown toenail removal. I'm I feel Dr. like I'm Jeff, in class. And I'll Dr. be guiding Jeff. you through this procedure today. Okay. An ingrown oh, toenail happens he's when got school the edge of the toenail grows down and into the flesh of the toe. Dude. When this occurs, there is usually a moderate amount of pain, redness, and swelling around the toenail. Ooh. An ingrown oh. toenail is usually caused when extra pressure is applied to the toe due to Improper shoes that are grooming. too tight or too loose. Stopping our injury. Toe fungus. There we go. School bus. Injuries and fungal issues can also be contributing factors. Mm. There are some ways to treat an ingrown toenail at home to relieve some of the pain. But Just remember get a that you should <laughs> never attempt to remove an ingrown toenail yourself. Oh, there we go. <laughs> if you're a diabetic and have an ingrown toenail, it is Ooh. recommended that you go to the doctor immediately. Diabetes. Now that you understand the causes of an ingrown toenail, let's put on our gloves and remove one. <laughs> Oh ready. my god. So let's begin by disinfecting the toe. I'm kind of excited right now. <laughs> okay, click and drag the iodine to sterilize the area. Click continue and done. Okay. Um Okay. Dude, this is awesome. You guys should play this. I'm going to leave the link in the description. I'm going to put on all his toes. Just to make his toes look a little bit cleaner even though they're all pretty clean. Oh, that looks painful right there. Iodine. What does the iodine do? Now, we need to numb the toe with a local anesthetic. We'll have to inject okay. the anesthetic in several locations around the toe. All right. um, Right there. Ooh. Oh, it makes a noise. Oh, it's oozing. Get a napkin, man. Great. Now we'll wait a few minutes. <laughs> Illuminati. Look at Look at Oh, it was Illuminati. Fitted perfectly. Where's my Doritos? Five minutes in the music. It's like. Now that okay. our patient's toe is numb, place the special tourniquet around the toe. This All will right. help reduce the amount of blood coming from the wound. Once. <sighs> oh, yeah, just slide that on, big boy. First, oh. carefully slide one oh, blade no. of the nail anvil under the affected nail. Mm. Oh, no, no. Click the indicated position. We're going to go down the nail until we feel a little <gasps> bit of resistance. Mm. Our patient's going to feel some pressure as we cut away the ingrown nail. Oh! Oh my god! No! Oh! Oh! Great! Take the forceps and carefully remove the ingrown nail. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do this. Oh! It's getting kind of messy in there. Yeah, let's it is. Let's clean up that blood. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. See that small bit of pale yellow substance right there? Yeah, what is it that? It looks that... like the patient has a bit of infection in the toe. It's fungus. Firmly squeeze the edge of the toe to get as much of that <gasps> infection out as you can. Do I have gloves on? Okay, good. Oh, look at my hands. Oh! Ooh! It's like... I hope he's like on his iPhone, not even that looking at this. That toe is starting to look much better, but we're not done oh, yet. Oh, yeah. Next, we're going to apply some phenyl acid to the wound. This will help Phenyl ensure acid. that the problem of ingrowth will not reoccur in this toe. When you're done inserting the acid, okay. I'll remove the tourniquet and we'll finish up. Wow, that's fast. Okay. That's it? Finish How does it grow back now? Finish some antibiotic ointment on a sterile gauze pad. Okay. Dude, this is like Dr. Simulator. If you guys want to learn some of this stuff. And wrap it in a gauze bandage. Oh, man. Holy cow, it looks so cheesy. Fantastic job. 
Since there was some obvious infection, our patient will be sent home with a prescription for some antibiotics. Okay. We'll also need to tell our patient to keep the wound dry, clean right. the wound regularly, and replace the bandage two to three times a day. Oh, man. While our patient's toenail what the isn't fuck? likely to regrow, his condition is likely to return if he doesn't take care of his feet. This includes wearing proper fitting shoes, properly trimming that's his That's how his toes going to look keeping like? keeping his feet clean and dry. And that's how we remove an ingrown toenail. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries here at SurgerySquad.com. Oh my gosh. We have more surgeries? Let's do one. Let's do virtual LASIK eye surgery. Okay, we're going we're gonna to become a surgeon today, you guys. Before you scrub in. Man, this, this, I didn't even know this website was this good. <laughs> Welcome to Surgery Squad's oh, I got virtual a lady LASIK this time. eye surgery. Hi there. I am Dr. Susie. I'll Dr. be guiding Susie. you through a LASIK eye procedure today. This is crazy. LASIK eye surgery oh. reshapes the cornea to provide improved the focusing cornea. power and reduce a patient's need for glasses or contact lenses. Oh, wow. LASIK is performed with a special laser that's used to change the shape of the cornea. The part of the eye that the controls and focuses the entry of light. One of my friends got By LASIK. By doing so, we can I have focus no idea what the it light is. so that the patient's I'm vision is improved. Our patient's already had her preliminary exam. Her prescription hasn't changed for more than a year, and she has no history of eye disease or injury. Is she bald? This qualifies her as a perfect candidate for the surgery. Okay. We want to make this procedure oh my as God. pain free She's as possible. Scary. <laughs> so we'll use drops to numb the eye. Okay. Can you place a few drops into her eyes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do I put them right there? The arrows are like, okay, right there. Did I miss? I didn't Even miss. with the numbing drops, it's <laughs> possible that the patient can feel pressure and mild oh, really? discomfort, but they pressure do help with most discomfort. or all the pain. That's how she says it. Debris can it's complicate like, the procedure, so okay. we need to make sure that the area around the eye is clean. Yeah, wiggle those eyeballs. Now that the area around the eye is clean, we'll use a device called a speculum to hold the eyelid open wide. So Holy let's get shit, that, that looks scary. The eye. Right there. If the patient was allowed Ooh. to blink, we might cut or burn the wrong area. Ooh! At this point, we'll that. also mark the cornea with a water-soluble ink to guide replacement of the flap. Oh man, that's cool. Now we place a suction ring over the eye. I would the never be able to do the this. The cornea upward, making it easier oh, to man. cut. The patient's okay. vision will likely dim and blur while the suction ring is attached. That's crazy. For this next step, we're going to slice open a flap on the cornea. A flap. To make the corneal flap, we use a mechanical microkeratome. This Holy is a fancy shit, name it's like a ham slicer. That's attached to the suction ring. Attached we slide it across ring. and it cuts the top 20% of the cornea. Okay. Here we go. Slide the microkeratome along the track. Slide the ham slicer. Did I get it? I think I fucked up. With the corneal flap cut, we remove the microkeratome and suction ring and then peel back the corneal flap to expose the middle Drag this is the, the part we'll reach oh my with the gosh laser. dude the her eyeball control laser is positioned over the eye by analyzing okay. our patient's data we've pre-programmed the laser to tell it how much corneal tissue to remove a flip of the switch to fire up the laser and the reshaping process is underway. i'm gonna burn your eyes from the laser will correct the shape of the cornea in less than 60 seconds Dang. The laser makes a slight clicking sound, and you might notice a faint smell similar of burning hair. And that's Dang, that's it. crazy. Please fold the corneal flap back into the original position. Nicely done. Nicely While done. While you were working, I went ahead and took care of the other eye. Oh, really? I we thought you were talking to me. We patient for several minutes to assure the corneas bond correctly. She did the, the other eye? The is quite amazing in this respect. The it will be bonded back to each eye in moments. Even with the corneal flap bonded back in place, Holy the cornea shit. is still vulnerable and her eyes could look dislodge different. if the patient isn't careful. Look at her hair. That's why we put a clear protection. She got a Vegeta. A Vegeta eye. widow's peak. This keeps the patient from bumping or rubbing her eyes. All right. The patient will notice the improved vision immediately or as soon as the numbing drops wear off. Oh my gosh. She it's may like now HD. be driven home as she won't be able to drive for a day or two. Holy She'll come shit. back within the next 48 hours so we can remove the eye shield. <laughs> she looks like a test cop. Test her vision and examine her eyes to make sure everything is healing up nicely. Alrighty. And there you have it, another successful surgery. 
You can see more of my surgery superior sc surgical technique silicone in my other breast implant surgery. surgery what? What's a mastectomy? Um, learn about the process of removing two cancerous tumors in a double mastectomy surgery. No, thank you. I had enough of surgeries today. I don't know if you guys want me to play more of these, but this is pretty interesting. I'm going to leave the link. Um, you can also just Google like um, the toenail or the eye one, but I'll leave the link for the uh, the toe one. If you guys, <laughs> I don't know if you want to do it again or if you guys want to play some other games uh, or different simulations but uh, i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did be sure to drop a like and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one but till then and always have a great time and science is scary but it's good all thanks for watching and bye bye